Hey guys, welcome to Brewed Opinions. I'm Ziggy, and today we have a really interesting beer. Um, it's called Delirium Tremens, and that actually is a medical condition, which I just found out trying to look up some information about the brewer. Um, actually, it's a severe withdrawal from alcohol. Um, so if you stop drinking it after being addicted or drinking it a lot, it's like getting the shakes or the tremors, the headaches. So it's pretty interesting. Um, so this may be the beer that brings you into that point. Hopefully not, but maybe it's addictive qualities comes close to that. Um, this is a beer from Belgium. Um, it's from Meli Gent. Uh, I don't know if that's pronounced correctly, but that's my uh, reading pronunciation of it. Um, I love elephants, so the elephants definitely brought me in when I saw the label. I've kind of always glanced over this bottle. Um, it looked cool because it, it kind of has a ceramic feel to it. It's just the actual outside paint. Um, nice little pink elephant on top. Um, but this is a Belgian. Um, I've heard it's very good Belgian. I think it rates 90s to 100s on some websites. Um, try not to look at those to try to keep my uh, palate not skewed from other people's ratings and reviews. So just going into it fresh. I know what kind of what a Belgian, what to expect. So with that, let's check it out. Um, it weighs in at 8.5 ABVs, and being a Belgium, there's no IBUs to really speak about. Um, as far as the hops and all that, or what they used in the ingredients, I don't know that. Um, I'll post it in the description once I look that up and put it on there. Um, but yeah, it was imported from Sterling, Virginia. So good job, Virginia, for importing a Belgian beer. So with that, let's pop the top. Holy smokes, that was awesome. Okay, so it's a little bit um, pressurized, so be careful with that. Uh, if there's any instructions on explosive corks, it's not on the bottle. So, with that, the foam rises to the top. Let us get a good pour on that. That's only ever happened to me one other time, and it was a, age, a bottle aged beer. And I kind of was expecting it. That was awesome, because I was not expecting that whatsoever. All right, so first we're going to look at the color, and then the smell, and the taste, and then how all three of those tie together, and then an overall opinion. So what we got here is a very pale white head, um, very carbonated, bubbly. It's kind of falling apart, not very thick. Um, the color is very light, kind of like a light lager. Um, but those bubbles, man, they are taking off inside. They probably has a lot to do with how the cork flew out of there. Um, yeah, so we're getting kind of um, a honey, kind of a mead color, um, sort of approaching an amber, but staying on that light golden side, um, much like a golden vice or a golden ale or something like that. Um, but those bubbles are steadily pouring up. That is amazing. Kind of fun to watch. Um, so let's give it a smell. Mm -hmm. So you're getting a typical Belgian yeast smell, um, kind of a white grape, champagne -y smell that most Belgians should have in their characteristics. This is from Belgium. So everyone I've had that's from Belgium tastes like this or smells like this. Um, it's getting a very dry taste. Um, on a negative note, I don't normally liken it to it, but kind of a dryness like cheddar cheese or a Merlot wine, how they pair well together. This is kind of that dryness you get. Very sharp. Kind of a cinnamon smell to it. And cloves, maybe. It's kind of that cinnamon cloves, kind of those uh, spicy... Um, spiciness to a Belgian, which I don't normally smell in things like this. So that's kind of cool. Um, with that, the head is kind of calming down, so let's give it a taste and see how the um, aroma of it kind of ties into the taste. Mm. Very smooth mouthfeel, even though there's tons of bubbles. Um, that's very... Uh, usually surprising because when it's really bubbly and crisp, it kind of has that sharp mouth feel, and the body has the mellow and mellows it out. Um, so let's give another taste and see. Mm. 
kind of sweet, um, like a sweet champagne uh, or sweet Belgian. Um, it has the dryness that follows right after the sweetness, kind of crisp. Um, you slightly get a rose taste to it. That's really what I look for in Belgians is that kind of floral, um, herbal taste to it. And you you get this partially. Um, it's kind of drowned out by the dryness and the crispness, but it's still there. And I really like that because you can sip it and savor and look for that. And it's definitely something you can find in here if you're worth if it's worth looking for you. Yeah, this is on the warmer side. It's probably about 55, closer to 60. Um, usually with these, you want to keep it at 52 to 56. I mean, it's really that narrow on some of the bottles. So we're in that range. Um, this is probably warmer than I normally would buy uh, drink it. Um, but with that being said, I'm able to pick out a lot more flavors than if it was really cold. Um, probably be a lot smoother mouthfeel if it was a little bit colder. But overall, this is really good. I'm really enjoying this. Yeah, so didn't pick up on the um, floral notes in the nose, but in the body it has that rose in the very background. And the more I drink it, I'm getting a lemon zest, kind of lemon, lime, citrus on the back of my tongue, kind of bitterness. Um, so it's pretty nice. It's kind of a light Belgian, um, something to look, look into, something to try out. Um, definitely worth the money. Um, I will get this again. Not just because the elephants are on the front of the bottle, but because it's a really good Belgian. Um, and I mean, if a cork pops off like that every time, then you're gonna be hit of anything that you go to bringing this kind of bottle. So thanks, uh, I can't even pronounce her name, uh, Huin Jin Brewery, thank you. If that's wrong, please correct me. Um, for this Delirium Tremens, um, I'm not receiving any of the effects of Delirium Tremens, but Maybe it's a little too early to tell. Well, thanks for watching. Um, make sure you guys subscribe to the YouTube channel and make sure you check us out on Facebook Live. Thanks a lot.